good news, my lovely, wonderful people. This is really, really happening. Oh, hey, hey. You'll be surprised. You'll be shocked, you know, at some of the issues ongoing now. As we speak, my wonderful people, uh, hmm, the, the uh, what's it called now? CBN has promised to grant Femi Falana his request with regards to the new Naira. Yeah, CBN has promised. They said, don't worry, we will we'll work with you. Whatever you say, we'll do. CBN. So it's really, it's really there. CBN said, don't worry, we'll work with you. Okay, we'll work with you. So Nigerians, you can see for yourself that, um, you know, what we thought about, you know, what we thought was just, um, what we thought was just a simple thing. You know, people have taken it up, and if you if you know if you know if you know your thing, there is no need to struggle with a lawyer to to an extent, because uh, a lawyer like Femi Falana, who is a human rights lawyer, and uh, people people believe in him because to a large extent, there are still very few people who we still see integrity with. There are still very few people who we still have that place of integrity with, you know, where Femi Falana has made some very obvious, um, uh, you know, pointers and they just have to listen. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. New Naira, CBN promises to grant Femi Falana's request. The Central Bank of Nigeria has promised to disclose information on the disbursement of the new Naira of the 200, 500, and 1,000 Naira new notes. The APES Bank stated this while responding to a request made by the activist lawyer Femi Falana San in a letter dated February the 16th, 2023, to the free pursuit on the grounds of the Freedom of Information Act 2011. The CBN response was contained in a letter dated February the 24th, 2022. Reference, the reference number is there, signed by Aminu Mohammed for Director Secretary to the Board and, in, and entitled Request for Information on Disbursement of New Naira Notes to Central Bank. It states, we write to acknowledge your letter dated 16th of February 2023 on the above matter and wish to inform you that the information being sought where available will be communicated to you in due course. Late Nigeria reports that Femi Falana had earlier requested that the Central Bank of Nigerian Governor Godwin Emefili provide information on the disbursement of the new Naira. Notes. Femi Falana has requested the Central Bank Godwin Emefeli to provide this information on the disbursement of the new Naira notes. Femi based this letter on the Freedom of Information Act 2011. The request followed statement credited to the CBN governor that some unknown politicians have mopped up the new Naira notes made available to all, com all commercial banks by the Central Bank of Nigeria. The lawyer noticed that the pl he plans on filing a suit against the central bank governor if he fails to if if he fails or refuses to provide the required information before the deadline of the seven days at the federal high court to comply with what he has requested for the letter stated in part we are complied we are compelled to require to request you the and and furnish you with the information concerning the amount of note this of the new design naira note 200 500 and 1000 denomination made available to each commercial bank of the central bank of nigeria furthermore we also request that you furnish us with a list of customers a commercial bank who collected the 1000 naira note approved for all the commercial banks so as tedious as you want to look at this thing that it is the central bank has humor or has have done what he should do by responding to Femi Fallon and saying, yes, we, 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 would, we, would, we would do your bidding. Okay, we will do your bidding. We'll give you the request. We'll give you the requested, um, you know, information as you have done it fit. We will give it to you. So these are really sincerely some of the things that are happening. And whether you like it or not, uh, we are all in this together. You know, wh why the, you know, Femi was requesting this before the election, by the way, it did not come till after the election. To a large extent, it feels like the purpose has been defeated. Probably by the time Femi is able to do 
a real analysis and look at it and you may be able to see that certain serial numbers from this to this was within this territory within this within that but i don't really know if it will amount to much the elections have come and gone and money has been disbursed money has been given out we don't know where some of those money has gone and every single person knows that you know because of the hunger in the land because of what politicians they do they weaponize you know they use the weapon of hunger on the people you see, so at the end of the day, they can have an upper hand. The people are begging for mercy, barely getting by. These are some of the things that, you know, have been happening. And that's why it feels like Nigeria, Nigerians are like in a state of dilemma, trying to really get by. Why some people are honestly, you know, taking advantage of the situation and getting whatever they want to get at the expense of the people. But again, Nigerians, we must not lose hope. In building, building takes time, I must assure you. Building does take time. What do I mean? We are building our democracy. We can't lose hope. That's what they want us to do. When you're building at times, it's not very often, but at times some places collapse, then you have to re-go back again, rework it out, recede to it, that you make it work again. It's not an easy task. It's tedious. It's time consuming. It takes a lot from you. You are trying to manipulate this and put it together. Some other things are crumbling and you're trying to, you know, gradually at some point, if you do not give up, things will begin to line up. But before things line up and the structure you have that you, you, you know, you, has been crafted down, begin to manifest, there is a bit of hard work that has been sown into the whole process. So we must not relent. We must not give up. We must not uh, lose hope. Our, our our we must focus and ensure that we are determined to get to the bottom of this because at the end of the day nobody should you know allow the same thing over and over again yes nobody we should make sure that we focus and we ensure that um, we are putting this country first we are putting things in place every time we allow you know those who are circumventing our will to continue we leave ourselves to chance Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Remember that if we want this country to be liberated, every one of us will have to contribute meaningfully. Every one of us will have to give our best in order for this country to have, you know, a new the dawn of a new day, because that's what we really are after, isn't it? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. It is important. We sincerely appreciate you. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Bye for now.